you're looking at my 1978 Dodge Security RV. It has 177,000 kilometers on it. And it runs really, really well. So let me uh, start the engine just to show you. Here on the motor, zoom in, you see it has this green knob here, it does two things. I unscrew it like this, and now the motor won't start, so it's like an anti-theft device, and at the same time, it keeps your battery from draining, so if you go camping or you leave it parked for a long time, just unscrew that and then your battery won't, uh, won't drain on you and you won't be stuck where you are. Uh, take a look at the engine, it's in decent shape. Over here there's a horn, I'll show you a little bit later what this horn does. Okay, come on around this side. You can see the awning up here. I can take the awning off by myself. And also, here, there's a storage compartment for your camping gear. Come on in the back. on closer. This license plate is a digital license plate. I have a remote with it so you can program some little messages as you're going down the highway. There's a ladder. There's a jack to uh, steady it and, and uh, level it when you're out camping. You have to have, add a ball to this and you can uh, haul a trailer. Spare tire jack. Gas cap. Oh, this light and the light over there and those lights out there, those are all brand new. And here is where the power cord is, so if you're plugged in and you uh, need to feed electricity, it's in here. This is where the water intake comes, if you need uh, to feed city water from it, you would feed it from there. I can't remember what this is. Ah, it's the hot water tank. It's the settings for the hot water tank. You know, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This is where the water pump is. This is where your power cord is, and it comes with the adapter. It's in there somewhere for uh, regular uh, power from your house. And in here is where you put, you can put, those are large propane tanks. You can actually put two propane tanks in here. Right now I'm just storing some stuff because we only use one propane tank. Okay. Now take a look inside. Okay, so I'm going to get you to come in and sit on this side. I'll get you to be my passenger so I can show you some uh, features inside. Oh yeah. Take a look around while I go plug the battery back in. Here for a minute, I want to show you again. Windshield wiper, your lighter. This is your uh, fan, that's where your ignition key goes, and your brake, and your pedal, and your emergency brake here. Your lights, uh, the horn I showed you inside the motor operates this. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Of course it's not working when I want to show you, but trust me, it does usually work. It's got sirens and alarms and stuff on there. Uh, the Velcro is there so we can put GPS and stuff like that and it doesn't go uh, fumbling around while we're driving. 
there's the dome lights, brand new dome lights, visors. Okay, now that's where the radio goes. Over here, I'm going to show you. Down here, it also comes with this jack. This is a marine speaker, so you could get these wet and it would still work. There's one on each side. And let's take a look at the loft up here. Comes with the ladder. And it comes with the phone. Ow, ow. I hurt myself on the screen. That pushes back, but we never use it like that. This mattress goes down here at the table. If you've ever seen an RV, this table goes down so you can turn this into a bed. Sleeps two people. And then this down here also pulls out so you can sleep two. So two people here, two people there, and two people up there. Sleep six comfortably. If you're dry camping, I have two of these batteries in here. That's your power inverter. And these batteries are what powers the whole RV while you don't have any power. RV comes with seat belts. On both sides, comes with seat belts. And you see over here, all my plugs, my outlets are all brand new. This is a cable, satellite, and telephone. And I have another one right behind me over here. Same exact thing. And it feeds from the outside. As I told you, all my plugs are new. This is an LED light, so if you're not running on any power, and it's not powered in right now, so it won't work. There's speakers back here. One on each side. All the lights are brand new. These vents are brand new. And you'll notice, if you take a look up at the vent, you can see they're dark. So the front one is dark, the back one is dark, but the one in the washroom is light so that you can have light in the bathroom and it even comes with the fan. Again, all these are brand new. Since we're back here, let's show you. Bet you've never seen a tub this large in an RV. Comes with a shower. Add a curtain here, add a curtain here. Nice little sink. Bathroom, toilet, storage area, and there's more storage back here. And you'll see this little square allows you to see behind the RV while you're driving, so you can actually see cars behind you with this little magic square here. Okay, there's a double sink. This covers like that. Again, brand new outlets. If you look up here, this is for the heater, I put a digital one in. These is the water level, the holding tanks, the battery condition. Spice rack. Comes with all the dishes you see in there. And then you can just go like this. Oops. You just go like this and it holds the door up. This one is loose, I have to tighten the screw. Same thing with all of them, they just kind of hold the door up on their own. Propane stove with an oven. Storage area for your pans, everything you see comes with the RV. All this stuff comes with the RV so you'll never run out of uh, items, something stuck on you. <laughs> Why does this always happen when you're making a video? And, uh, same thing as here, the storage under there. Uh, the storage compartment here. Up here we have an air conditioner and a fan, works really well. Large fridge. Uh, we use this level right here, we put it there and when the bubble goes in the middle we know that the whole RV is level so that's probably the best place. Runs on electricity and runs on propane. What we usually do is we put stuff in a day or two before we go camping and run the fridge so the fridge is nice and cold and it keeps its temperature while we're driving. This is a drain hose support for your sewage, comes with it, comes with a toaster, comes with a coffee maker, comes with a dish rack, stool, there's a little table here if you want to put your TV on it, and again, comes with, the doors locked like that, comes with all the stuff you see in there so you're ready to go camping from the day you get it, if you have kids, they'll be happy about that, and what else can I show you, there's lights all over the place, um, this is brand new. We, my wife and I redid this whole stuff in here. 
and take a look at the floors. And the door locks two ways. You can lock the door from here and you can also deadbolt it so that people don't uh, come in. This controls a little outside light. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for my tour of the RV. It's a 1978 Dodge Security and uh, it's not going to last long at this price. So get a hold of me. Thank you for watching.